Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about uh, bitwise operators in Java. So Java defines several bitwise operators that can be applied to the integer type like long, int, short, char, and byte. These operators act upon the individual bits of their operands. So let's start. So they are summarized in this table. You can see on the screen. First one is bitwise unary not, bitwise and, bitwise or, bitwise exclusive or, shift right, shift left, and so on. You can see on the screen. So let's uh, discuss one by one. So since the bitwise operators manipulates the bits within an integer, it is important to understand. what effect such manipulation may have on a value so specifically it is and useful to know how java stores integer value so all of the integer types are represented by binary numbers of varying bit widths so for example the byte value of 42 is a bit pattern is 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 so where each position represent a power of 2 starting with 2 0 at the right most and 2 1 2 2 and 2 3 and so on you can see on the screen so 42 is sum of 2 5 2 3 and 2 1 like 32 plus 8 plus 2 uh, equal to 42 so the bitwise logical operators are Uh, and or exclusive or and generic not you can see on the screen this is or operator this is and operator and this is exclusive or and this is generic not operator so this table show the outcome of each operation so keep in mind that the bitwise operators are applied to each individual bit within each operand so let's in practical session so let's create a project go to file go to new java project so bit op this is the project name and leave it everything is default finish module name you can use but no need for module in this don't we don't create and now so first create package file new package my pack and finish if you don't create package ide eclipse ide will create default package so now after that you can create class so this is the name of the class and modifier public and we need one method public static void main and click on finish and here we need some variables assign a value to a and C equal to applied a or operator. C equal to a applied and operator. So in this statement, we are applying bitwise or operator. bitwise or operator combines bits such that if either of the bits in the operand is 1 then the resultant bit is 1 and pattern of 42 is this one 00101010 and bit pattern of 15 so if you apply uh and or operator between a and b the resultant uh, will be this one because the rule is if either of the bits 
in the friend is 1 the resultant is 1 so here if 0 1 result is 1 1 1 result is 1 0 1 result is 1 and if both 1 result is 1 both 0 result is 0 if either of bit is 1 result is 1 so 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 uh, will become 47 so the result of this expression will be 47 it will sign to D so in this statement we are applying bitwise and operator bitwise and operator produces a one bit if both friends are also one a zero is produces in all other cases so here cause zero one zero if both friends are one the result is one otherwise result is zero zero one zero one 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 and all other zero because so in this statement we are apply bitwise exclusive or operator bitwise xor operator combines bits such that if exactly one operand is one then the result is one otherwise the result is zero zero one one if one operand is one then result is one otherwise result is zero both one result is zero zero one one friend is one result is one both friends are one result is zero both friends are zero result is zero so one zero result is one so it will the result is 37 will assign to uh, d here bitwise not operator so the bitwise not also called the bitwise complement the unary not operator invert all of the bits of its friend like 0 invert 1 1 to 0 0 to 1 1 to 0 0 to 1 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 it will invert all the bits and the result will be assigned to f so let's run this program and see the output So this is the output of this program. The left shift operator. The left shift operator shifts of all the bits in a value to the left a specified number of time. It has the general form of this value. Left shift operator num. Uh, here num specifies the number of position to left shift the value in value we are applying here left shift operator like this is the pattern of 8 like here one bit is highlight and when you uh, this bit shift to left with two position it will highlight this bit like 32 it will become 32 for each shift left the high order bit is shifted out and 0 is brought in on the right. This means that the when a left shift is applied and into print bits are lost once they are shifted past bit position 31 because the width of the integer is 32 bit width. So if the print is long when the bits are lost bit position 63 because the width of uh, log is 64 bits and we are applying here right shift operator the right shift operator the right shift operator shifts all of the bits in a value to the right a specified number of times it's a general form you can see on the screen value right shift operator and num here's num the specified number job position to right shift the value in value so in this slide you can see in c equal to 8 this is the bit pattern of 8 number and in this expression we are shifting c to position so right shift to position and this bit will shift to this here and the result will be 2 and it will sign to D. So let's run this program and see the output. 
so this is the output of this program so in the last lecture i had asked a question what does this symbol mean in java so the answer is this is known as the modulus or remainder operator in java the modulus operator return the remainder of two numbers so today's question is what is the use of bitwise operator please give the answer in comment section otherwise i'll give the answer in next video so i hope you have enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next video